you know, this was an Does LB, this look familiar? Yeah. This yeah. guy's face. Who was caught on video assaulting somebody and falsely arresting them and had no charges brought against him. Yeah, so this is Nevada, nvcopblock.org. Definitely go over there, check out Kelly's article. Why don't you tell everybody what happened here, Kelly? Well, I mean, it's been a little while, but people that have been in Vegas for a while know Derek Kohler. He's, he's a well-known officer. He He's killed three people now, including the one in Wyoming. And there was one case in 2006, which it was a, uh, an issue where they came out and they say that the, the guy they shot pulled out a gun. But that was before body cameras and that was before people were really scrutinizing Metro. So who knows if that's even true? But you know, you could say, okay, if, you know, we'll say that one was you know, maybe valid. But the, the second case, the one that got a lot of the attention there was a 15-year-old kid who had bipolar disorder and he had manic depressive episodes. And he was having an issue where he wasn't taking his medication and his mother called. And the thing is, it was one of those situations where she called for them to come and help him and basically like take him to the hospital. The cops showed up and they have the video of it where because they had a taser which had a video attached to it and so there is a video of it and basically what happened is he stood behind his mother and was holding the knife. Derek Cohen showed up and basically it was one of those situations where as soon as he got out of the car he walked over and shot him mm -hmm. and just shot the kid. And his mother had stated from the beginning she's never changed her, her story at all. She's never even wavered. They, they pulled her away after they shot and they didn't even like confirm to her that he was dead. They, they held her and like questioned her for three and a half hours. And she never, the whole time she maintained that he was not trying to hurt her. He was basically cowering behind her and trying to protect himself out of fear from the police. Now this is the, the shooting Which here in be. Vegas, right? Right. Now this so newest one. Yeah, so he wasn't even fired for that though. He was, yeah. that was, that was considered, that was uh, ruled justified because they all were back Yeah, then. they all, yeah. Right. And they still are. Mm -hmm. But uh, what he was fired for is uh, there's, there's a videographer that does a lot of, of cop watching named uh, Mitchell Crooks, who actually had done, uh, he'd, he had a pretty well-known video in L.A. before that. And he was out filming a stop that Derek Cohen was doing. And he was in his own front yard and Derek Cohen came over and demanded that he stop filming and he said no I'm you know I'm legally allowed to do so Jeez. <laughs> and uh, Cohen attacked him and on video beat him and then tried to kick the camera to destroy that video but that didn't work and it wow. actually got recovered and falsely arrested him I think it was, I think the charge was obstruction and uh, eventually, it was eight months later, he actually got fired because of that after, you know, costing the taxpayers of Las Vegas $100,000 in the settlement. And so that's how he ended up in Wyoming. He's, it's his actual hometown in Laramie, Wyoming, where he went and got hired. And the sheriff there, who's actually up for election today, um, which is probably part of the reason why they haven't officially announced that Derek Cohen is the cop that, that did this. Yeah, because this fucking dude never should have rehired this fucking murderer yeah. in the first place. And Correct. it took about three years for people to find out about this, about his history with the, the Metro Police Department. But when they did, there was a lot of controversy about it, and he defended it, saying, you know, oh, he was so good at uh, the physical fitness test during the academy and all this stuff, you know. Because, you know, like his history of, like, beating people and, and killing people isn't relevant as long as he's in really good shape and he can, you know, <laughs> shoot good, which, you know, that's yeah. the other thing is he was good at target practice. But, uh, so he stopped a man who also was mentally ill, same, same situation, schizophrenia-related issues, and there's, they haven't released any of the details, and... As I said, the reason for that is because the they don't want that to come out during the election. Mm -hmm. And what happened is this happened on Sunday of this week, but the family released the information that it was Derek Cohen. And th what they say happened is he had stopped him 
for a traffic stop. The person uh, that he was, Robbie Ramirez, and is the guy's name, but he, as part of his mental illness, he avoids conflict. He, he basically runs if somebody confronts him. Mm -hmm. So that's what he did is he was in his car and he drove home. And anybody that's been to Wyoming knows Wyoming is a tiny, tiny state. I mean, North Las population Vegas. Population-wise. Yeah, North Las Vegas has more people population-wise than the whole state of Wyoming does. So Laramie has 30,000 people. It's a, it's a small town. People know each other. And Derek Colleen actually went to high school with the guy that he shot. Oh, wow. And they played together on a baseball team, and they were in some school choir together. So... This isn't some guy that Derek Colling didn't know anything about and didn't know that the guy had mental issues mm -hmm. and was, you know, should have been afraid of him. He was somebody he knew and knew his history. And, it's, and instead of having some sort of other resolution of it, calling other cops to come out and help him deal with it, having somebody come and talk him down that's trained, he just shot him. And it's, it's one of those things where it's not at all uncommon. In fact, it's, it's kind of the thing. When cops get fired for misconduct, they just go to a different department. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, like the, um, the cops get fired from one department, then they go to another department, and they end up shooting somebody. Right. They, I think they classify that as serial killers, right? <laughs> That's yeah, yep. pretty much. They become serial killers as they go from state to state, uh, department to department. Um, I don't know how they're not weeded out and why people accept them, um, but it, it's a horrifying thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's that big, thin blue line. They're all brothers. Yeah. You know, so they take no care matter of how many other. people they murder. Yeah. But it's, you know, I mean, like of all the cops you could find to hire, you, you couldn't find a guy who has already killed two people and been fired for excessive abuse. Yeah. You know, right. Excessive sense of force against a citizen yeah it's just crazy there needs to be i've said this before but there needs to be like a blacklist where if you've been fired or even if you retire because a lot of the time be tracking yeah. yeah a lot of the times they instead of getting fired they resign or they retire so that they can collect their pensions and their unused you know paid time off or whatever taxpayer funded of course and then they go and work somewhere else. So if you retire, resign, or get fired, you need to be blacklisted so that no other department can hire you in the nation. Because this and happens way too often. Well, I did an article, I think about two years ago, in Wisconsin where they did a study. They found out a third of the police officers in Wisconsin had been fired from another department. It's crazy. 